Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to Elimination Chamber Review. I am here with Captain and Flame. We have just watched it, it's fresh in our mind. What did we think of the pay-per-view? We're going to go through all the matches, you guys can see the predictions on screen and then we'll take a look at the leaderboards, see, well you can already calculate yourselves right now who won but let's go through it real quick I'm gonna set a timer guys we're gonna take two minutes to talk about each match we'll do a little bit longer on the chamber matches we will start off with the bar versus Apollo and Titus O'Neil Flame what do you think of it? Uh, <laughs> it was a raw kind of match oh, God. I did not care in the slightest um, the match was pretty boring, and the right team won. I think uh, I think literally there's nothing more that needs to be said. But captain, what do you think of it, mate? Um, right outcome. Didn't even watch the match. Right. Um. Yeah. What Flame said. To be totally honest with you guys, I'm sorry that's boring, but literally. What flame did it felt? There's like, nothing to be said about it. It was, it was. This was like the fifth or fifth. It's like the fifth match they've had in the last couple of months. I get it. It's they got Apollo and Titus got some wins over them, but just wasn't really pay per view material. Um, real quick, flame out of ten. What f one to ten? The match. Five. Captain. I'm just gonna say five because I didn't watch it and that's safe. Sure. Um, I, a couple good spots, from, uh, I can think of that and that, yeah, five, because, yeah, just screw it, we can just move on to the next match, because this is so too long for that match, n no need to keep talking about this one, um, Hardy, Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a match, it, yeah, it was a match, like, we get it, this feud is going on and on and on, no brother Nero, no Ruby Sky, no there Max. Was a beach ball. Yeah, there was a beach ball, which of course ball. that annoyed me. Beach balls really pissed me off. Um, it, it just, yeah, it was the match I was looking forward to the least. I mean, not really surprised. Beach balls, not very good. I think it was a four out of ten, and didn't really enjoy it. Just wanted to get past it, Captain. What do you think? This can be summed up in one WWE since 50-50 booking. Not exactly, because that match at Raw 25 never actually happened. It happened, but it didn't happen. Um, Out of 10? Yeah, 4. Yeah. Flem? Just shows how dead um, Bray Wyatt's character is and how God, yeah. WWE are just not doing Woke and Matt Hardy any justice at all. When the crowd is more entertained by a beach ball. And, it's sad, yeah. isn't it? Considering how good it was in TNA. Out of 10, Flame? Yeah. Six, because it was a bit better than the tag team match, but it still sucked. Six. I will say, I um, did like the spot where he was clapping to Wyatt. Okay, yeah. I liked I liked the fact that Matt Hardy didn't come out straight away. Bray Wyatt, that, that part was probably my favourite part of the match, and it wasn't even in the match. Let's move on to the next one, which we have Asuka versus Nia Jax. Oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, um, we'll talk about the match, and then we'll, we'll obviously talk about what the the main talking point is. Um, what do you think of the match, Flame? Uh, the match wasn't the best. Nia Jax looks sloppy as hell at times. So, so. And... Um... Yeah, it didn't look well for Oscar at all mm. with what happened in the match. Um, Good outcome, oh, well. the the right the right winner. Yeah, but if what we think yeah could potentially you know happen, then mm. Mm. yeah, captain. Yeah. Uh, flame out of ten. We forgot to ask. Yeah, that. good uh, point. Yeah, five. Okay. Um, I said multiple times in the match, Nia Jax, Nia Jax was really sloppy, at least to start out with. Yeah, you did say that. Uh, right outcome, decent match. I think their one on Raw was better, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. And, God, I feel bad for Asuka. 
Yeah. Um, so I thought. I thought. Yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about well, Titan Captain? I think it was better than the tag match. So six. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. It was. It, yeah. I think their their raw match was better. I thought, as as both of you guys stated, Nia Jax was a little bit sloppy. Um, of course, recording this just after, we have no idea what really went on, but it looks like at the end of the match, uh, well, at the end, about three quarters of the way through, Nia Jax tries to like, roll um, onto Asuka. She kind of moves out of the way. Her leg, though, stays in position, and Nia... <laughs> Yeah, okay. I know, we went over two minutes, guys. <laughs> um, and yeah, Asuka's leg got squashed like a pancake. It looked um, bent afterwards. Yeah, it did, it did not look good. And it that did, did not, not look, look like selling bent. Yeah, I, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what's gonna, what, what, what's happened. I, obviously, we don't know. It look, It doesn't look great. But things like this have happened in the past where it's just like good selling. And it's just like, oh, okay, well, okay. But mm, it 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 looked it looked like something was going on. I, I'll rate it. I'll give it like a, a five out of ten as well because it was just nothing nothing amazing, nothing bad though. And it was just yeah. Hopefully Asuka's not injured because that that would be really bad. Um yeah. Do you guys think Asuka is injured? Yes. Potentially. Yeah. Mm, all right. Let's move on, guys, to the women's elimination chamber match. Uh, Mandy Rose, Sonny Deville, Mickey James, Sasha Banks, Bailey. Um, it had a lot of potential. I didn't think it was awful. I thought it was. I thought. I thought it was. It was okay. It was the first ever um, women's elimination chamber. We all know that. It was. It wasn't bad. It wasn't. I didn't think it was bad. Of course, lots of missing. Lots of missed opportunities, mainly around Sasha Banks and Bailey. I know you guys will agree with that. Oh, I think yeah. overall, though, for the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber, it's definitely better than the first ever Tag Team Elimination Chamber. Um, I thought I thought it was okay. Yeah, I, I honestly did. They, they, they told... I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it like a, a 7 out of 10. 6, 7 out of 10. Uh, for me, the, 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 right, the right person won... Sasha Banks, if the story was told well, would have also been maybe the right person as well. But as they didn't tell that story, I think Alexa was definitely the good choice. Captain, what do you think, mate? Um, for the way they told the story through the match, Alexa was the right winner. Yeah. But if they told the right story, Sasha exactly. would have been much yeah, better. Yeah, exactly. Especially match perspective with Asuka. Yeah, sure. But sure. Um, I think the match was decent. But nothing really special about it. No. Um, so of course we we Bailey. No, sorry, Sash. Uh, help kind of helped um, Bailey onto the top and then kicked her back down. Crowd oh, kind yeah, of popped for that. That was a big. That was, that was a, a fairly big spot. Of course, we we all wanted a a yeah. proper heel turn. What 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 I would have loved is Bailey get the upper hand on Sasha Banks. Bailey pins Sasha. Sasha goes absolutely mental. Puts in the bank statement for like I don't know, like what seems for like an eternity, uh, with Alexa Bliss just lying on the floor, like laid out. Referees like trying to just going absolutely ham on uh, on Bailey, and then Alexa just capitalising off of that and pinning um, Bailey once that's over. I thought that would have been really or good. Or even better, um, Sasha puts Alexa on Bailey. To fully cost you the victory. Sasha puts the legs on Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. But out play. of ten. Yeah, out of ten, Captain. I would say I think seven and a half out of ten. Flame. Seven. What do you think of it? I think they could have booked it better, but the match wasn't that. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. Any 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 key moments of the match stand out for you? The fact that um, Mandy Rose is eliminated for in this both the yeah, yeah that that annoyed me flame the botch with sasha and alexa oh, god yeah god yeah alexa jumps off the top of the pod she was in after she came out looks like she lands properly on sasha banks but no sasha banks botch or no sell whatever you want to call it and then just bank statement on alexa they kind of roll into the ring 
very weird, very kind of just annoying because it was just like, well, what what do you think was going to happen with all that momentum? Did you think Sasha was just going to catch her? It was just not going to happen, was it, in the first place? So it was a bit weird. Didn't really understand what was meant to go down there. But yeah, overall, as I said, I think the story they were telling, Alexa should have won. Bit annoying that we didn't get anything uh, between Alexa and Mickey James. I feel like we were building that up on the last couple episodes and it just nothing came to it. But yeah, we'll move on, guys, to the main event. The first ever seven-man Elimination Chamber match. We had Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and The Miz. Starting off, we had uh, John Cena, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, and, of course, Elias in the pods. Uh, who came out first? John Cena came out first. Then Roman, no, then, yeah, then Roman Reigns, yeah, then, then Braun Strowman, then Elias. Miz got eliminated first, followed by Elias, followed by John Cena, followed by Finn Balor, followed by Seth Rollins. And then, of course, the final two, Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. I do want to add something. Of course, Bro, uh, <laughs> Braun Strowman, absolute beast, pinned everyone except Roman, who ended up getting the better of him and he won the match. Really yeah. Um, I, 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 I know, again, people might be angry, but I going into this, I knew Roman Reigns was winning it. So based off of that, I thought it was actually a fairly good match. I think Braun Strowman looked strong. Um, I think Seth Rollins did, had, had a good show in it. It was okay. Nothing nothing amazing, but he had that whole gauntlet thing, so that was good. Um, Miz and Elias were kind of just extra bodies in there, of course. Miz is Intercontinental Champion. Doesn't look very, doesn't look too weak because he is still champ. Um, Elias got a very good amount of offense in at the beginning. He kind of, as D two points out, kind of got the the mistreatment from last year. But anyway, Captain, what do you think of it, mate? I, I didn't like this match. You didn't like it at no. all. Well, there were some good parts. Just the booking in the match was terrible. Okay, Braun didn't need every pin. So that, that's, made that's Roman what look you... a little bit stronger. Okay. It's just like, oh, Ron didn't need everything. Even though it was basically nothing, he won the gauntlet. Mm. It's just, he didn't need it. every oh, pin. Fair enough, out of ten. And the, bo the booking was bad. Um, I think this was seven, worse than the women's. You Worse than the women's, alright. Flame, yep. what do you think of it, mate? Uh... I wasn't happy with, like, yeah, Braun getting, like, five... Really? Not you, like you Seth too. could have at least got some eliminations because they seem to be wanting to build him up again. Roman. Um, I feel like he should have been evenly shared between all the wrestlers. And, um, okay. It was too predictable in the end, and that just ruined the overall match. I didn't enjoy it that much. Um, sure. Yeah. All right. Out of ten. Seven. All right. I will. I'll give it an. I'll give it an eight. Um. A small eight, but an eight nonetheless. Now, I, we, I don't often disagree with Flame and Captain, but I do have to disagree on this one. I thought I thought it was actually quite decent. I thought they had a really good spell, like finishers, finishers, Braun kicking out of stuff. It was very good, I think. Like, Braun kicked out of a spear. Um, yeah, I think it tells a good story going on to Raw with John Cena. Um, yeah, I mean, Seth Rollins... I, bro, I, I, I don't know, yeah, it's, in, in some ways I can see where you guys are coming from, but in, in, in other ways I just think, we all knew Roman was winning it, it's like, shouldn't have got, we shouldn't get disappointed because we, we knew he was going to win, like, no one else was going to win but Roman, and at the end of the day he did win, uh, but yeah, I love Braun, he looks strong in it, so yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, and finally, we'll literally do one minute on this because this video is going quite long already, Ronda! Rosie, loved it. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I thought it was going to be a little bit, just, you know, I, when she came out, she started talking and it was just, ugh, seemed a bit, you know, iffy. I think you guys get what, you know, you know, I thought it was just going to be just contract signing and that's it. But no, Kurt Angle, the boss he is, um, it's all st it all stemmed from him, uh, which was great. Absolutely great. Um... <laughs> But yeah, WrestleMania 21. WrestleMania 21. Triple H through a table. It's gonna. It's it, it's pretty much at this point guaranteed that we're gonna have. Well, 
I might, I'm, I'm going to look like an idiot if it's not, but Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 20. Well, 34. So, <laughs> WrestleMania 34. Um, Flame, I, I know you have probably a lot to say about this, so what did you think? Yeah, it was the best segment slash thing that happened in the night, to be oh, honest. Oh, God, yeah. Most entertainment thing. God, yeah. Mm. Easily, um, yeah. Kurt Angle was brilliant in Thank this you. segment. You know, <laughs> this you. was 13 years in the making because it was since <laughs> WrestleMania 21. <laughs> and, uh, really, love yeah, it. Ronda yeah. Looked, I'm glad that it wasn't just Ronda speaking. Exactly. It wasn't that great, but then they made Ronda look like the badass. She is. Ronda needs to not talk been. much on the mic. Like, I think you'll agree she with this. The, 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 the least, the, 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 the less silent. she talks, the better. She needs to be the silent but deadly. What did you th- okay, don't don't rate this on like a match scale, but on a segment scale out of ten. Eight and a half. Alright. Captain, what did you think of it and rate it out of ten? Um quickly. I'll say Kurt Angle was amazing. He hasn't been recently, but he was that makes really me so happy. Nice. And uh Ronda Rousey looked great. Yep. On a segment scale, eight and a half, nine. Alright, I'm Sorry. going with a nine. I thought it was brilliant. It did every perfection doesn't really exist. Um, but I thought it was great. It did everything it needed to do. Instead of trips going through the table, <laughs> I'd have liked it to be Stephanie. That's just me nitpicking. Nit- no, I know, but it's just me nitpicking. I think it should have been Stephanie, not Triple H. Um, it's around to look a little bit stronger than it was a guy, though. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it should have should have been Steph. Um, yeah, I agree though. I thought it was good. Yeah, as all you guys said, Kangol's great. He always is. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, let me know down below in the comments. But we have to go into one quick screen because we do have a winner for this pay-per-view predictions, and that is Flame. Congratulations, dude. Captain, um, give your trophy, your, your fake championship or whatever, to Flame. Like, pretend it. Go on, give it to Flame. The passing of the of the championship. Have you done it? Have you passed it to him? We good? I'm not sure what you want me to say. Right, it's passed, okay? <laughs> Flame is your prediction <laughs> champion right now. He's going to go down at fast lane. No, me and Captain both me, drew. Really. No, to me. But anyway, guys, thank you so <laughs> much cool. for watching. Really do appreciate it. Congrats to Flame. I'll see you guys all for some more predictions with Captain and Flame for fast lane. Till then, take care. Peace out. Drop it a like. Bye.